a good cup tie. Cambridge took the game to Ipswich in the first half and Junior Hunter's pace early on suggested he might cause a few problems. Ipswich struggling for form in the Premiership looked decidedly sluggish to begin with. Then new signing Stuart Slater gave an indication of why Town paid £750,000 for him last week. At the other end, Steve Claridge was working harder than most to find an opening. But Ipswich kept it tight, forcing Claridge and his teammates to try their luck from some unlikely positions. And it was Ipswich who finished the half on top. Ian Marshall's beginning to develop a promising partnership with Chris Kiwomia. Marshall's header gave Kiwomia the chance to run at the Cambridge defence. And that served as a warning. The second half was only five minutes old when Ipswich got the breakthrough. Fullback Mickey Stockwell suddenly appearing in the Cambridge box and setting up Marshall for the tapping. 1-0 on the night, 3-1 to Ipswich overall. Cambridge stuck at the task, but Claridge missed the one good chance to put them back in the tie, heading over from Gary Clayton's corner. And Ipswich produced one more flash of Premiership quality near the end to put the issue beyond doubt. More evidence of the growing understanding between Marshall and Kiwamia. It ended 2-0 on the night, Ipswich 4-1 winners overall. For Cambridge and their young players, encouraging signs for the second division campaign to come, Ipswich now need to build on this result in the Premiership. We've had a good win, now we can get down and uh, sort things out a little bit. We've had two disappointing away performances in London and uh, we need to steady the ship and get a bit of confidence back. Tonight helps that and uh, we'll have a little bit of a break and uh, get the work done on the training field and hopefully we've got a big match to come back to and uh, when we play Leeds on the Sunday then hopefully we'll be up for it.